Camila last week after the BGC season eight reunion. Here's what she had to say. Fresh and famous radio. Our last guest is the one in everybody's mouth, no matter how it's pronounced. What up to the LBC for letting me steal one of the baddest chicks ever. Bad Girls Club Season 8 on Oxygen Channel is officially over. My LBC and BGC honey Camilla is here. What's the deal? What's up? And it's Camila. Why can't people say that right? That's like Camila. Like, just like you being someone else and somebody said, you want to accept the same? Oh, my mother named me. Camilla, that was so easy. that was like that was like that was like a big deal like on BGC right like everybody couldn't pronounce it right. Well, you know what it is. I did another reality show, on Mama's Voice, and it pissed everybody that I knew off because they were like, "Why do they keep calling you Camille? Your name's not Camille." So on this one, I wish my grandpa called me Camille too, but still, it's like <laughs> it's Camilla. <laughs> Camilla. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just, call, I'm gonna just call you a girlfriend. All right, that's that's something that Jay will just call. Everybody calls me Mila. Mila, no, see, see, I don't want to call you what everybody calls you. I want to call you something else. You know, like I was thinking, okay, like well, we have... <laughs> I was, I was, I was thinking, I was thinking, like, like, like breakfast meal or something like that. You know, something cool like that. We have Fresh Hilton, the sister of Perez Hilton, to start stuff. Um, are you ready to hear what she has to say? Yes. All right. So Jazzy's going to read it. Now, this is what she said. You got to hear this. She said. That besides bashing skulls, you also do modeling. Is this true? Yes. Nice. I also model. Since when? Yeah. I've been modeling since, like, well, actually making a check all of it since 19. But I started when I was 14 years old. <laughs> sweet. But sweet. I didn't take it really serious when I was younger. I'm a little tall. always trying to be at the parties, which is not good. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I started modeling and making money doing it at 19 and Dope, dope. Now here's here's something else she has to say too. She said you moved on with the beef with Elise Donovan. Is this true? I really don't have enough to say to Elise. Like, I mean, I really came in house to be her friend and um she just wasn't I mean, I would have been if she, she said we don't have anything in common, but if you're a designer and I'm a model, I mean that's something in common, but she's retarded, so good <laughs> luck to her, Elise. Uh oh. Shots fired already, already. We just got started. Dang, Camila. <laughs> Dang, that's how we what? doing it? <laughs> you still a bad girl. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Why do you think girls hated on you so much? Um, because they weren't me. <laughs> I think, overall, I just think that the girls didn't like me because they just, I saw this, you know, this sunshine. And my thing is, if you're a bad chick, you don't, you gonna shine regardless. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You should let me take away from your shine. So I think that they were just so they couldn't handle another cute chick that was so down to earth. Yeah, that's what it was. Swag, swag. From LBC too. They were really hating. Yeah, from California. You know, a lot of people don't like California chicks. I don't know why. Mm. <laughs> Join the club. We're we're in California too. So here's something else that uh, Fresh Hilton said. What did she, what did she say, Jazzy? Now that Bad Girls Club is over, what do you have planned now? Um, I have a lot planned right now. I'm doing. Um, Appearances, hosting, um, hosting fashion shows, I'm in magazines. I just did two magazine shoots. Um, I've been getting a lot of offers from different um, productions and stuff. So we'll just see what happens. I know that it's going to be amazing, whatever I do. You're definitely, I'm going to see me again, and it's not just the end of it from Bad Girls. Like, that was mm-hmm. just something that, to add to the resume. And now I'm just going to, you know, continue to be in movies and try to get in some roles. Nice. We do got Camila on the line right now. Bad Girls Club season eight, Las Vegas, which was an amazing season for uh, all the girls. I mean, it was wild. You know, hair was weave was coming out. Everything was going on, and you were like the epitome of it all. So here, so here's here's why you're like our, our our main event for tonight is because you do that kind of stuff. You know, like like that's that was your show basically. So. Now that now that now, right now that that's your show, we would we want to know a little bit about you. We want to know like a little bit like of your background, and this is something that Fresh Hilton came up with so far. She said that you date short guys. Is this true? I'm kind of a short guy. My love, my first love was kind of short to me, and you know, in California, you don't have any options of long size. That's why I date out of state. I date out of <laughs> okay, well, you got to tell how how short was he? Like, are we talking like 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 four ten short or four feet? No, not the ones that come to my nipples. So <laughs> I've had a guy that's my same height without my heels, but then of course when I put my heels on, I get you know I'm like six feet. So it's like Sierra and Lil Bow Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you know the short ones always like me. Well, you know I don't know what it is. The short ones always have the most confidence too. They come up, you 
you know, like, hey, girl, what's up? And I'm uh, like, why? And what up to other short people out there? That's what it is. Here's something else that she said. She said, you cannot cook. Is this, is this true? Can can Camila cook? <laughs> Camila does not cook. Ah, uh, it's true. Ah, uh, Camila. All right. Not, I mean, if you do, let me tell you, I have <laughs> people that cook for me. So oh. I don't have to cook, then why would I cook? No. See, I, I, I'm not in a relationship, but I had a man that I needed to cook for every day, but that's what it would be. Okay. But I don't, so I go to restaurants, you know? Nice, nice. So, if you, so so once you get a man, like, in the first, what's what's going to be, like, the first meal that you're going to uh, cook for him? Um, I think I'll have to have his favorite meal cooked. Or you know you know what I'll, I'll give you some I'll give you some tips. Uh, if you meet up with him, don't cook for anything for him until the morning time. And when it's the morning time, make him like cereal or something. He'll love you for that. Cereal. <laughs> yeah, break, that 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 could be the breakfast. That could be the <laughs> that could be the breakfast in bed. Just get a tray, you know, pour like some frosted flakes with some milk, and then just you know give it to him, and then he'll uh he'll love you for that. <laughs> okay, so here's something else that she wants to know. She said she wants to know when was your first very first fight that you've had uh throughout your life uh, my first fight was when i was in the eighth grade and it actually was with one of the girls that came on the show with me crystal what the girl that were, uh, with the braces <laughs> that was the girl i had my fight with <laughs> are you serious <laughs> That's I'm so serious. Doing best of friends now. Pretty badass. It's a small world. She she said, "How do you feel? Uh, how do you feel about bad girls in the other seven seasons? Now that you've officially conquered this season, which was uh, season eight." Right. Um, I just feel like you know everybody makes their own mark on each season, you know, and I think that a lot of people try to come on and be somebody mm-hmm. that they were on the other past seasons. And for me, I just came on being myself. Like I wasn't thinking about oh, I'm trying to be like Natalie or oh, I'm trying to be like. I'm just trying to come on and be myself, and that's what showed on the show. So for me, I got a lot of respect because they seem the real besides the fake. All All right, here's the last thing that she wants to know, too. All right, this is something I want to know personally. Have you learned anything from this show? Yes, I did. I learned to, um, I need to learn (laughs) more patience. Fresh and Famous, JL, the radio host, right here with Jazzy and Camila. It's not Camilla, all right? That's where I messed up at. So, Camila, whenever you see me or whenever (laughs) we meet up, just, like, you know, give me the boot, like, to the face or whatever, because it was was a mistake. No, I'm not a fighter. I'm actually a lover. What? (laughs) Ah, come on, Camila. We saw you live and dark. We saw you on Oxygen. Uh-huh. We saw you on Oxygen, Grab It Weaves, like it was an Asian hair store. <laughs> we You're saw right. you. <laughs> it was like it was edited that way. But I mean, I was myself, still girl testing me, it took my kindness for weakness, and it was what it was. Uh-huh. At this point, I just don't go around beating up people. Like, yeah. I'm not like Hulk Hogan or nothing. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. if somebody can come around and beat me up, too, like, it's not, I can't beat up everybody. Yeah, and that's, but that's, that's. that's I mean, that's 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 why we love you too. You know, you keep it real, you keep it fresh. You put the fresh and fresh and famous, and uh, you know, yes. we, we love you for that. So definitely, where can we hit, where can we contact you if we want to uh, keep in touch with you, chat with you, you know, all that good stuff. Um, you can definitely find me on Facebook on under you know my name Camille Brandexter, mm-hmm. and um, it has the official Camille Brandexter because there's a lot of fakes on um, all the fans. And then also on Twitter, you can find me. I am Camila P. That's I am Camila and the two L's the same. Nice, nice. So that's where you can find me, and then you can see me on TV, on the internet, and you can Google me. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, de- and she says she says it in a humble way. I am the person that came in and took all the original spots. <laughs> Oxygen and Vita Murray know that they made a bad mistake by not casting me, but honestly, I'm glad I came in for two weeks because I put I put a bang on two weeks episodes and I was only on there for two weeks you know nice. and you guys were there for how many months and I did way more than you guys I'm <laughs> way much love and I'm on TMZ and Boston and everything so holla at me we love you we love you we love <laughs> hey what's up y'all it's your girl Camila from BBC Las Vegas and I'm checking it out with Fresh and Famous hey my boy I love him thank you so much <laughs> and Jazzy y'all the best <laughs> <laughs> have a good one okay Fresh and Famous, where we did spend fresh music and did interview famous celebrities. We are now closing the curtains. I hope you enjoyed tonight's radio show. Bad Girls Gone Famous is officially over. Tune in for next Monday night's radio show. Freestyle Frenzy is the trend, where many artists will get a chance to freestyle and challenge the king of fresh and famous freestyles, Lil Will. All info will be up by this Saturday. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers, especially Flo, who I interviewed earlier for you. We definitely love you. And happy birthday to a few of these people. Felix, Whitney Michelle, 
uh, Kalon Freeman, J. Rock Patterson, Desire Williams, that's a pretty beautiful name, Alexis Priestley, uh, and Aaron Lober. Now, Fresh and Famous is just an entertainment for those who love unique things. I put this together for you and for you only, whether you're going through hard times or tough relationships, here's a lighter to your cigarette. I feel like getting a little rocky for you, so here's a good song to close it off for all the mothers who had an amazing Mother's Day, young and old, just want you to know that you're appreciated. Here's Sum 41 called With Me. I'm your radio host, J.O. Hit me up on freshandfamous.com, conquer the world, and good night. This moment 